Hey guys, this is Odd1 Gaming. This is going to be another Dragonair Selling Gods video. In today's video, I want to give you a little bit of a warning, and uh, I guess I'm gonna do a few, like very small summons. What I'm talking about is the Season 3 banner. This one's gonna end in 12 hours and 11 minutes if you're one of the people that started on the earliest uh, uh, servers, right? If you're somebody that played in the beta and got fused together and got merged with all of the other seasons or if you're, you know, if basically if you have this going on right now, this is your last chance to still summon on this banner. Most people will already be summoning or most people should summon on this banner exclusively right you should pretty much ignore most of the other banners from my point of view if especially if you do not have rook rook is the mvp rook is the must for trying to compete in the temporal vortex not only that he does some obscene numbers the corrosion teams with rook in them do some obscene numbers in the chief challenge fights right i did last week for example 320 something million on the chief challenge as well with the rook team so he's pretty much mandatory and not only that if you look at the banner we have somebody like Ozul that's also amazing Aspalta is really good for shadow teams then Whisk is really good to have alongside Rook, Cinerel is an amazing support, Vector is pretty much the MVP of Season 4, we have Theodemir and Fanger as well, so all in all this one's a pretty strong banner that you 100% want to summon on, right? That That's from my point of view and that's why I wanted to make this video specifically for those of you that maybe forgot about it or didn't realize and you might be saving up, there's still a few hours, maybe by the time this video goes out there's like 6 hours left, so be careful and be mindful that if you still want to summon on it it's the last chance you want to do it now after this one's going to be over from my point of view you should start saving your summons and we should wait for the oak blossom event right that's the next thing that i think that's going to happen after the servers come back after they shut down so somewhere in uh, december so pretty much you're going to want to save all of the healer lights afterwards to wait for the oak blossom event and then we're going to see how that one's going to go so yeah that's what i wanted to say in this video and also i guess you know what let me see do i have three more summons to have a five pull four summons you know what i'm pulling everything it's it's <laughs> i'm killing everything that i have it's pretty much my most wanted right i did manage to get a rook myself if you didn't see that, that video make sure you go check it out i had my baby girl lily join me in the in the video she brought me the luck and uh it was a fun video to check out so i guess six more healer lights oh yeah actually i did pull some more healer lights in the meantime uh without recording i was an idiot right i didn't i didn't have my content creator cap on and i forgot uh, i didn't think about recording but i got another copy of aspalta by doing that then I also got something that I didn't have, right? I also got Lenkos as well. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's the best enabler for Aura. I don't, I never played with around with Aura, but considering the fact that I do have also the exclusive for Aura, right? I have Amon Leda and her exclusive artifact. I managed to get a copy. It kind of made sense that, you know what? Since I have the Aura people, this might be good, right? She might be an amazing... Uh, hero to build it might be a good team for me to do with with the aura considering I have the right ones now without further ado let's do these last uh, six uh, healer lights I guess let's start with a single let's see maybe I get lucky and get another early legendary or maybe not I'm just gonna do them singles because they're uh, you know they're they're just five they're just six so you know just trying to trying to get a little bit of that uh, maybe good RNG right trying to get a tinfoil hat maybe I get better luck on single pulls who knows? Who knows? I don't I don't remember if I ever got a legendary on a single pull only. Like maybe I have I pulled so many that it's it's hard to remember everything. But you know what? You never know. You never know. It only takes one if you get okay. Oh my god, it's a legendary. Come on. Imagine it would be a rook. That would be amazing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, please. Oh my god, Staguem. This is my third or fourth Staguem. I got so many copies of her and uh I don't know, I'm not a big fan of her. She does bring buff dispelling, but it's only for herself. And then control immunity and defense up. This could be good against fights like Grave of Rot, which I posted a video earlier today. If you want to go check it out, I pretty much made a guide on like what you would need in a Grave of Rot in case you want to farm it. But from my point of view, it's one of the dungeons that you 100% do not want to farm this season or just a little bit because it gives not as good uh, gear sets. 
So that's the uh, that's her ultimate, then invisibility and gains a shield. Like, I don't know, does anybody actually use Staguem somewhere? See, she has a bouncing attack, but her kit doesn't seem as impressive for me, right? Like, I've never seen personally anybody be like, oh yeah, I'm using her, she's amazing, because her kit maybe is not good enough. The only thing that I like about her is, like I said, this one, the control immunity, if there's areas or if there's fights where you have, uh, you where you need a control immunity. But yeah, I guess she's just going to be another artifact as I'm definitely not going to be uh, inspiring her. So let's see, two more. Can I get another one? <laughs> uh, can I get another one? I don't think so. Like, I'm not expecting it. Honestly, I wasn't expecting a legendary even from these ones. But you know what? It's a legendary. I'll take it. I'll take it. Why not? Why not? And uh, yeah, I guess that's uh, that's going to be it. Yeah. So, like, like you noticed, and the same way that I suggested, this is the banner to pull on, right? This is 100% the banner to pull on. You see, like, I used everything. I used all my healer lights, all my war marrow, everything that I could. I pretty much tried to push all of my quests to get to this point over here where I collect that extra healer light and the war marrow. At the same time, something that I did, and maybe I suggest to you guys do before you pull, if you're if you're low on uh, summons and you still want to summon, look out for areas where you can get more War Marrow or more Healer Lights. I'm personally up to date with the Famiander, right? Every single stage I could do, I did it. Labyrinth of Curiosity is pretty much the same, just the non-legendaries and up to one legendary I haven't done because I don't have that many epics built since, you know, it's season 4, we have a lot of uh, of lot of legendaries built. And then the same thing I did on the Pillar of Trial, right? Arguably, I think this is the first ever season where I actually kept up with my Famiander and my Pillar of Trials. And you can see with the Pillar of Trials, I'm up to, you know, up to the last stage that I can do. I pretty much pushed everything. And one of the reasons why you should do that, this is, you know, I guess another tip in this video. You 100% want to get as much of this uh, Affinity Solvent as you can get, right? If you grab this now, it's going to help you push further in Vortex and any other areas of the game. As opposed to doing it towards the end of the season. Because, well, if you get towards the end of the season, your Psychic Core is going to be full. And that Affinity Solvent is going to be pretty much useless, right? You see, I'm almost done with all my bonuses for my Fire and Poison for my Rogue Team. So, it's kind of going to be like, yeah, I'm going to boost everything else. But my main priority, up until right the Chief Challenge now where I'm going to try and boost the other ones my number one priority was actually getting my fire and poison after I got rook to the highest level and then I'm going to push this one as well the ice and crosses because my next best thing is going to be Ozul and speaking of rook you know what since we're talking about this banner and since we were talking about the power of rook you see what I have on my account I'm by no means am I a kraken right I do have some inspired, uh, yeah, I do have some inspired legendaries, but I'm far from having all plus fives or all plus or all the exclusive legendaries with all their exclusive artifacts. I pretty much have Ozul and his exclusive, Amon Lade and his and her exclusive, and then I have Rook. And as you can see, with the damage that I did with Rook, is it gets me in top 10 as of right now but it's not going to be the case i'm just top 20 like if you look yesterday i did 344 million with this one which is huge right and that got me to the 16th place i'm happy right i'm happy i can compete again in vortex without rook i would have been top 150 that's about it that's all i could have done and for today as far as it looks right now i'm top uh, i'm gonna be like top 10 but again i'm 100 percent sure i'm gonna be top 20 but the cool thing that i want to show you is what my team has and it's uh you know it's not full it's not the ideal team right i do have uh i don't have the exclusive artifact on rook i could go, go with that I have a whisk, just inspired one, and then that's about it. No other full, no other inspirations on legendaries or crazy stuff like that. Again, this shows why Rook is so good. Why Rook? Why Rook is the MVP of of uh, Vortex? So yeah, this is gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you all for watching. Again, don't don't forget to pull on the Rook banner. Everything you have, if you don't have a copy of him, or even if you have a copy but you don't have his exclusive artifact, or even then, get him fully inspired because he's a beast. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. As always, if you do enjoy my content, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel to see when I upload next, and I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace, love, take care, everyone. Bye, guys. <laughs>